Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for SQL League to go for our second season and like I said when I got off uh, the SQL League or SQ, no, SKL, okay, SKL League Last time, I said, uh, I'm gonna take a uh, team that I'm more used to, but <laughs> it kind of came wrong and right at the same time. What I plan on, uh, on doing uh, while the months of pa are passing, uh, I, I always liked to play some stall, and there's pretty much no stalled guides on uh, YouTube like nobody wanna play stall and there is even lesser YouTuber that wanna talk and play about stall there's usually one or two episodes when it comes down to uh, the YouTubers but n not really like a full time on the stall team yeah I, I hope you understand this like Probably the last really good guides are from the last year or something like that. Not only uh, that point, but also uh, stall team in league format are not existent, and uh, it's pretty much because we have the feeling that they're not viable. But at the same time, there's nobody that tried it all, tried it out. So because of that, I would really wanna try it out. And my plan, uh, my basic plan was pretty much take Mega Sublime, Skarmory, Toxapex, uh, Chen C, Doctrio, and whatever fairy type that comes for the tier 2. So it will be like uh, Togekiss, Florges, uh, there's also Sylveon, oh my god, Sylveon is so good. And uh, a lot of them can be pretty much offensive and defensive, talking about the the fairy type so uh yeah for tier two for the tier three i have three of them umbreon arcanine and the last one i will take it last and as like uh looking if i get anything really good that can fit or uh i wanted to plan on taking the salazol if there's nothing i really want and doesn't fit so 20 points are wasted but it's not that much of a deal uh, Salazol does fit on my team can be offensive and help the stall then Sneasel Quagsire and uh, Lipe on Meowstic uh, there's a lot of plan B on that I can go on and go on but I pretty much got sniped all my favorite type and then Dox Apex in two turns because <laughs> Because I'm last, and when you're last, uh, it's not that bad of a deal. Uh, it's pretty much the same deal as being in the middle, but you have to get another game plan. And usually, the game plan is to uh, don't mind, don't plan on making a team straight up ahead, and just doing some dual cores. Uh, so you look at pretty much what's left when it comes down to. Uh, uh, you being last like two or three picks before you you look at uh, what the uh, opponents already took and you counter them with two picks that forms a dual core that's usually the way to go when you're last but I wanted to take stall so bad uh, it's pretty much the worst position I can be to take it at least I got the mega sleep lie uh, and the skarmory I, I got some of my core but I needed to get a plan B Hopefully, like, luckily, I had enough points to get Cluffy Ball really late and then get a pretty sweet core still. So, let's get on to it. Uh, first of all, there's Mega Slave Life for the Mega Evolution. Uh, so, uh, really defensive. Uh, like, I will, it will always be defensive, but uh, this one can be both of them. Uh, 85, uh, base 85 isn't that bad, uh, especially when he does have some setup sweep on his uh, on his hand. Magic bounce is really the reason why you do, you want to play uh, make a sublime with only one weakness. It's pretty good. So uh, 
Because of that, I have to be careful of the fairy types being his only weakness. Does have a pretty good uh, move pool, I would say. Uh, I feel like I can do a lot with him. So and not for uh, and not for nothing, it's being taken by some players, pro players in the league format. And even if he's, uh, you know, is even if we usually see him install, uh, the pro players are playing him on a more a balanced team. I will say, you know, some bulky offense, and it does work because uh, because he, he can do uh, he can milk, uh, sorry, he can support your team in multiple ways, uh, both offensively and defensively, and the best of all. Uh, it kind of makes your opponent doubts about uh, doing a taunt or a stealth rock about any point in the game as soon as Imiga evolves. So he, he, you you will be scared about the switching. So uh, that's really good, especially for stalled. So I had to take him. Uh, the other magic bounce user are usually tier 5, something like that. I almost took uh, Xatu. Will be pretty cool to have my. have my. Oops, oh, sorry. Have my. You know, my mascot for the first time. But nah, I, I was just too hungry on taking uh, more stuff that I feel that are important in my team. So let's move on on Skarmory. So both of them are already a core. Just need the Chensi and Tux Apex. I uh, know. Usually it's uh, Cliffable, Chensi, Skarmory, and Tux Apex that forms a super core defensive. But it's alright. Like both Satellite and Skarmory are pretty good at each other. And with Chensi, it's even more powerful. So took Skarmory. Uh, what does Skarmory do is. Oh my god, it's so much. Uh, is not tier 1 for nothing, not even defensively, but uh, sometimes even offensively. Uh, like, it, it, it just does what it does since Gen 2, which is Whirlwind, Defog, Rue, Spikes, uh, can counter, Brave Bird, so good at it, uh, Shed Shell if uh, I am ever facing it. That's the beautiful way of uh, League Format. Usually you run Shed Shell in a stall team because you're scaring the the traps of Miazul, but because you know uh, which other mons that your opponent uh, will bring, you can immediately stack up a leftover unless it's uh, a Miazul, something like that. So yeah, and his moveful is pretty large too, like, can do everything that you need for, for a stall user, uh, phasing, putting uh, Stealth Rock Spikes, uh, I think it does have both Whirlwind and War, uh, just for fun. Yeah, yeah, it does have both. Just uh, <laughs> so pretty funny because of that. Uh, a lot of things you can do Tailwind. Wow. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm sure he will be pretty much always on my team. Uh, the goal on my team is pretty much running the probably the same core and then lefting one or two months that are specific to some matchups uh, covering some you know being able to swaps between one of the two uh, whichever I need so going on Chansey Chansey is by far I feel like by far the best stallman period so with a Dave Yala, it's so powerful. Oh my god, it's not even a joke. You feel like because of his low defense of base five, he will be pretty weak to physical move. But because of the Eviolite, 250 base the HP that is very much. And if you stack up all the EVs on attack uh, on defense, sorry, she becomes a real threat. The only thing is that really poor uh, offensive pool so I can't do anything with her except stalling but uh, when it comes down to a stall team it's pretty much what you want so pretty happy about it uh, yeah if we see the check encounters losing a VLI, taunt user which uh, satellite does uh, deal with uh, losing a VLI, which satellite does deal with 
and a uh, fighting tie which Sebli does deal with. And <laughs> physical wall breakers, that's the job more of a discarmary. And it's so cool. And, uh, this is a real core. Uh, everybody will probably run some knockoff. Is there's one team that doesn't run knockoff on it? Uh, I will blame him for underestimating the bulk and the powerful nature that is Chansey to wall. Uh, probably the best man in my team for that by far. I will say that not only uh, not only for stalling some turn, but he's a cleric, and he's a cleric that heals himself. Uh, that. That is so good. It even has healing wish. Wow. Uh, but I don't feel like healing wish is that useful. Uh, will be good on a mixed team that you want to run at Chansey and then offensive. And Chansey is pretty much the only tank that you really need. Uh, on that note, will be pretty cool to run the healing wish, but not on my not on my team. Even Bulldoze. Wow. Uh, I don't feel like charge beam will be useful at all, even drain punch. A lot of move. As soon as you don't see status, you and it's not seismic dust. You're saying, okay, that doesn't serve a lot, except if uh, it says something like, oh, it paras or whatever. But it already has thunder wave, so yeah. Uh, icy wind can be useful. Sorry, icy wind can be useful. So yeah. Metronome. <laughs> Let's go metronome. Uh, <laughs> so there we go for the Gen C. I don't feel like I have a lot to talk about her now. Uh, I've took Sublice, Kamari, Gen C. And then the la after that it was the Dark Trio straight up. So Dark Trio, it's not bad from overuse for nothing. It's such a big mind game. Uh, everybody will need to get prepared for it. And that's the the thing that uh, is pretty scary when you play stall and why people feel like it's unviable because usually you have to prepare for stall in these threats anytime in overuse in a ladder but right now you can in league format you don't care about stall unless you see uh, the potential of being one and in mine it's so obvious that yeah you can you, you see it straight off and you're saying okay I have to get prepared for Dark Trio, Chensi, everything like that so it will be way harder but because of that I'm pretty happy because uh, I really hate when someone just doesn't have any answers against me when I play stall in the OU metagame and they're, and they're like yo I even if I'm better than you it's just GG man and it's the matchup but right now they have to get prepared for me I have to get I have to prepare my team for the fact that they they will have some answers against me or like they have to get the answers so that's cool because of that a lot of really cool tricks that got with uh, Dark Trio these these months before the ban because there are some ways to counter it and he got all he always got some uh, some move pool to get around it so that's why I like that uh, month a lot uh, even in the early days with uh, Ferramosa uh, we saw some Scarf Duck Trio with Aerial Ace it was so cool and I love this I hate Ferramosa so <laughs> uh, I like seeing Scarf Aerial Ace Duck Trio because I hate Ferramosa so that's the way it is but yeah so useless <gasps> It's pretty much my revenge killer. Like as soon as I get one man down, this one will say no, no, one for one, bro. That's that's the way it is with the trio. So and some of my mods are have that purpose. So yeah, uh, pretty good things we can do. Uh, either sash reversal. I put the Z on him so I can drown him. Z screech. Uh, just straight up stealth track sometimes, uh, sub, sucker punch, there's so much I can do with him, it's not even funny. Uh, the, right after that, uh, that's where I got pretty much took everything I wanted, <laughs> the Arcanine, the, all the fairy types, I was so pissed because of that. that uh, my next pick was Umbreon and Quagsire, uh, what's Umbreon and Quagsire? 
Yeah, it was Umbreon in Quagsire. So, Umbreon, why Umbreon? I have one answer and it's, uh, I'm used to that mon. It's like the mon I've played the most. It's, uh, my favorite mon to play. I love, like, since I'm, uh, I will say a child, when I started playing d and I was like 13 years old. I always played the cleric, so I understand some people like liking the look of Umbreon, and but as soon as it comes down to being in the the meta game and playing Umbreon to win, they don't like him because it's a wish passer, it's tall, everything like that. But I like the fact that he's a cleric, and uh, not even that. But even more, like, fall play can uh, set up sweep with uh, with curse and payback. Does have some ways to play around him. Uh, I feel like smooth pull is getting pretty good by the years. Uh, so, so yeah, Umbreon, my favorite mount. I have, like, the Cox. Uh, <laughs> have the Cox. I will say naturally in my head that is how much I've played that man <laughs> so and it fits for stall so man I, I will not pass aside that opportunity to play Umbreon at its finest even if I already have uh, another dark type there's only because if uh, he's goes dark like I said Sublime that only has one weaknesses that is fairy so because of that they're only share one weaknesses and Umbreon is really not the man that you expect him to do some job offensively so both having the same type uh, of stab I don't care like I don't care at all that's not their goal usually uh, especially in stall so the other one was Quagsire Quagsire the Link Quagsire, the mascot, you know, you know him, you know what I was doing in 4chan, uh, while he was not even unaware, and now he got unaware, which is the ability, it, it is my mom to say, no, you will not set up sweep on me, man, I don't care, I don't care at all, and... Quagsire is so good, even if he's in uh, rarely used right now, and he keeps getting lower and lower in the tier of uh, the meta game of Smogon. You can play in an overuse, even in Ubers. I'm not even joking. Uh, you play in Ubers with Water Absorb, and it's uh, <laughs> and it's the biggest counter to uh, <laughs> to uh, Primal Kyogre. Not even joking. So as soon as it doesn't get. Uh, uh, because usually it's water type move and thunder and then whatever else uh, I know he, run, he packs some ice beam so yeah because of that maybe it's a, it's a problem right now back in the days it was the the best way to get rid of it so uh, yeah you can be bold what I like uh, of Quagsire is that I can be both special and physical even if 65 seems really low uh, 65 base attack is all you need for Ice Beam to do the times 4 uh, knockout or whatever. He, he can run both. And even if the defense speed F seems really low, trust me, man, that mount can be a, a huge tank. And not that, not as much as uh, Chensi, I will say. But the unaware saves him. And I've played him well enough to say that he does have lots of way to getting through the team uh, being useful in uh, a lot of ways, even without unaware, no joke. So I have faith in him, it is my unaware man. It was uh, my unaware man in my plan. Uh, then I got Clefable, but I'm okay with it. Uh, then my next pick was Sneasel and Lipard. I will explain it. Uh, Sneasel is pretty much the. Oh. It's pretty much the weaker version of Weavile. If we look at Weavile, base 125 speed and 120 attack. And if we look at Sneasel, we only lose 10 base speeds and uh, 30 base attack. 
25 base attack. So, not that much powerful, but it it still does the job, and that's the way I want to play him. Uh, like, just comes back after the death of a man and revenge kill pursuit uh, with a choice ban or a focus sash. Uh, that's the way he's supposed to be played. Uh, all those tier 1s, dragon type, flying type, or guard jump, or whatever gets counter. Even if they can be uh, really powerful, like uh, choice band and what is swords dancing, they will just be scared of my tier 4 that I just picked. And it fits so well on a, on a stall team. We is a tier 1, I cannot afford that, and to be honest, I like uh, Sneasel, the design of Sneasel more, so I'm pretty happy of uh, playing Sneasel in a place where the drag, the powerful dragon type are still there, and with, that is not Inu, uh, I'm saying, and him being still viable and having a reason to play him over, over uh, Weavile, so that's funny. The other one was Lipar. Lipar is my other answers uh, to yeah I, I picked two dark type there uh, that won't slightly matter because the two first one I have the weakness to fairy and I have four weakness to fairy three weakness to bug fighting and uh, everything like that but as you see uh, both Lipar, Sneasel and Sneasel have terrible uh, defensive stats and I don't feel like I care much about their type defensively because both of them will just get killed by any move at all. So <laughs> they are a piece of paper. And Lipar and Weavile does not the same job at all. Weavile is more offensively to uh, get rid of a Mon by killing him straight off. And Lipar is by using some prankster shenanigans with a uh, whatever a T wave, a taunt, uh, he can set up sweep still, so I'm happy about it. Can be, it can, uh, it can runes on weathers, encore. It does have all the moves I need to abuse of the unaware. And as soon as a mon uh, starts set up sweeping, and if he's uh, answers to my quicksire, that I still don't have the cliffable answer in my head back in the days, uh, back in the one I was taking this month, so I was like, oh, okay, I can still uh, do, I still have a way to get rid of that month's set of sweeping on me, I can T-wave him, I can taunt him, I can fall play that month, it's pretty cool to uh, have some ways around it. Uh, and it's a good supportive mod, does a lot of momentum, U-turn, everything like that. I, I love it. I love it. Uh, I always wanted to play Lipard in the, as a tier 5 mod. I feel like it's one of the best tier 5. And yeah, but it always got took before I, I was able to take him. So being able to play her, uh, I really like it. Then I got the, the ID. Because screw that, there's no more fair types viable for me in the tier two. Uh, already, all of them are taken. Dark Epic is being uh, sniped since after my fourth pick, which is pretty much my second turn. And after that, I got the ID. The the after a night of sleep. The brilliant of idea of taking Clefable and Rosa Raid, so uh, let's go with the Clefable. Uh, Clefable is pretty much as Temple Core in the stall team because of his unaware ability. He's so good, and I've played her in uh, in my first league format, and she was pretty much my MVP. And not even that, but I've played her and Quagsire uh, at my first uh, league format. And the cool thing is that I can run both of them and let's say the Quagsire will be unaware. So the Clefable doesn't need to be unaware anymore. She can be Magic Guard 
and don't care about the toxic uh, and still do our job pretty well with the let's say the T-Wave even if we got the nerf which was a huge deal for Clefable back in the days uh, now she still have the same goal in the stall team that she had before which is pretty much uh, she can bring up the rocks uh, Moon Blast, Soft Boil, uh, Wish Pass Toxic, Ill Bell, uh, a lot of things that a cleric can do. So I have other ways to get a cleric. I uh, hate having one way, uh, once only one cleric. So now I have one, two, three ways uh, to heal my team. Uh, maybe even more. No, I feel like it's my three clerics. Uh, Rosa Raid is more of a setup user. Uh, I think she has Amara Therapy, sorry. Uh, and yeah, Cliffy Barrel are really good of a man to... Uh, our removal is so fast, man. She can do a lot of stuff. She's not even a fully stall man like Chansey is. She can... She can do some offensive job too and help me uh, poking or me even straight off killing some months uh, to make my team job easier and having a plan B if the stall doesn't work so yeah the cluffy ball is pretty cool and then the rosa raid is another mon that uh, does a lot of job usually offensively but I feel like I can do a lot with her defensively and even with a uh, technician, natural cure is pretty good on her. Even if she can't be toxic, she toxic automatically. Uh, grass type is pretty cool. I, I needed that. Uh, the grass poison type is a good point on my team to get. Uh, like, uh, what? because of the fairy type, I don't care anymore. Fighting type, I can take some, some hit and then. Uh, hit them back so yeah poison type was pretty much what I needed and she's weak to uh, fl flying type I don't care that much with my team uh, psychic type <laughs> can we laugh about my weakness to fighting type with Roserade yeah that's all much I don't care so and ground type doesn't even care so yeah, offensive, I can be... Oh, choice scarf? Oh, never saw that. So yeah, uh, spikes, toxic spikes. Uh, I needed a month to bring on the toxic spikes. Uh, to, she can leech seeds, she can... Uh, I think it's synthesis or move to recover. She can sleep powder too. Uh, yeah, synthesis. So, a lot of things she can do, I feel like, uh, really defensively and offensively. So, I will see our, how she can go. And I, I took her as a, I don't know which tier 3 to take anymore. I don't have any answers. And then I, I saw, like, wait, poison type. I need those. Grass type. Yeah, to do a uh, fire water. Drascar. Oh wait, fire type isn't there. I got snipe again. So <laughs> had to take my last two picks. I don't know what to take at all. I'm like, hmm, let's go. I can, I know I can take uh, two a tier three again and a tier five. I'm like, I don't know which tier three to take. I took rules array pretty much as a last answers to what I can get on my team. So I'm like, wait, I can take two tier fours. Uh, let's go with the Salazar, always like her in the team. Uh, she can... There we go. Salazar. Uh, corrosion make me... is making me able to p toxic the steel type. So, really funny. Uh, because usually we see her as a offensive man. But now I can play her defensively, but still I can do usually the job of a... Uh, I will try to do the same job as... As uh, Sneasel, which is a uh, revenge killer, straight up coming in, uh, being able to threaten the enemy. 
So that will be my way to do it. The Z move does help a lot because it doesn't have a huge attack stat like one event is pretty good but not to punch some holes in the team and saying you know what I'm faster than you and whatever comes in dies that's the way uh, I feel like I will uh, revenge kill with Salazzle so yeah uh, and then Quillfish is my last man why did I took Quillfish because Toxapex and Tentacruel got took and it does have the same typing, it does have Intimidate, does have some useful tools like Spikes, Taunt, Toxic Spikes, Call. Uh, so yeah, I don't know, maybe it's the mon I will trade it off. Oh sorry, as a tier 2 mon, uh, the last one I wanted to take was Ditto and I got, uh, <laughs> I got taken uh, away too. Ditto is probably the best, one of the best mods besides Unaware uh, to revenge, to straight up punish someone that is set up sweeping. So yeah, but uh, yeah, comes back to the Quillfish. Uh, does have some cool things to do. Uh, explosion, gyro ball. Oh, Ace. Yeah, uh, almost put the Z move on him because. I really want a reliable recovery install. You need one for each of your mon. He doesn't have one, so Z Ace will be pretty cool. But no, sadly. I will Salazol uh, and Duck Trio was two two months that deserves the Z move and are dependent on it. Not Duck Trio, but like Having the option is really good and uh, I feel, I think I don't have any choices but to take uh, tier 1 to 3 for the first Z move and tier 4 or 5 for the last one. So I had to choose between uh, Quillfish and Salazol and Salazol really needs it. Oh, T-Wave, cool. Uh, yeah, I know that that man can do some, does the job in PU and NU for the defensive core but you know it's facing some OU we'll just look how it goes with the quillfish and I know that my my team does have the typing to cover it up by far so maybe it will shine on my team well, I, I don't know seriously I have mixed opinion about the quillfish so there we go about my team uh, Oh no, Quillfish, uh, I have faith in him because he's my viable water type, of course. <laughs> uh, that's a meme from uh, the Canada VGC community. Uh, finding as much viable water type that are pretty much troll picks for other ones. And then we got we go farther with them and then we say that Tapu Fini is shit. So yeah, there we go for my team. Uh, my plan is pretty much go stall. And then see how it goes. If it goes really bad, I'm gonna take a do some switch on the team and see how it goes because I I know with uh, some little tweaks on the team, I can pretty much transform them from stall to uh, a more balanced team. I will say so. I'm not afraid of testing that out. Even if it goes wrong, I'm okay with it. I want to see how stall it goes. So, have yourself a good day. Uh, facing Mort and uh, Gallifreyan for the first week. So, won't be easy. I have to prepare a lot for it. Uh, especially more because it's tall, man. So, yeah. Have yourself a good day. And uh, happy Christmas to our holidays, whatever. Because it's the 24, when I, and the time I will take for uploading it will pretty much be Christmas. I don't know. Maybe it will be still the 24. So, yeah. Have a good night, guys.